your keyboard app is one of the most used apps on your device. If you are using something frequently, then make sure you know how to use it effectively. Since the launch of the Gboard we can't stop praising its power-packed features. Let's have a quick roundup of the tips and tricks that make Gboard what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and press bell button to get notification on latest videos. 1. Google Translate this feature enables translating words and sentences in real time. So the next time you want to greet someone in their native language, type in your language of choice and the rest will be taken care by Gboard. All you have to do is tap on the G icon and hit the translate icon. There are over 90 languages to choose. 2. Browsing and deleting text. Let's admit it, selecting and browsing through text is quite a task. The smaller the phone, the more difficult it gets. With Gboard, however, that's not the situation. Gesture cursor control lets you slide easily through texts and also allows prompt text deletion. All you need to do is swipe back and forth on the space bar for easy browsing. For deleting text, swipe over the backspace key and the words will be swiftly removed. However, if you do it fast, it won't work, the key here is to swipe slowly. Though, if you tend to do this by accident, you can always tap on the prediction area to get undo what you just did. 3. Quick Punctuations Not many keyboards give the comfort of selecting the punctuation marks on the go. It often involves a three-step process. Tap on number key. Select the punctuation and then tap again to get the alphabet keyboard. With Gboard, one can quickly access the special keyboard. Hold down the period key and you get the punctuation marks right there at your fingertips. 4. Text Editing Mode The Text Editing Mode toolbar is one of the relatively new features that has been introduced. It lets you easily select text for editing purpose, cut, copy and paste it elsewhere. All you have to do is tap on the G icon, select the I icon and the mini toolbar will be available to you right away. So, if you need to select a set of text, tap on select, choose the appropriate arrow and you are done. What's more, the arrows at the extreme bottom let you easily select whole words and phrases. 5 capitalize word. I love this feature. I no longer need to worry whether the shift key is toggled before I start typing. It's a nippy and easy way to capitalize words while typing. Highlight the word and tap on shift. It will rotate through the two types, whether the whole word needs to be capitalized or just the first letter. 6. Double space acts as period. Most of the time I end up inserting a space when all I wanted was a period. Sigh, phones with smaller displays. But that's no longer an issue with the Gboard. This awesome feature of Gboard automatically inserts a period and space in your sentence when you double tap on the space bar. This is a very convenient feature as it saves you from the hassle of pressing the wrong key. 7. GIF and Emoji Search on the Go GIF and emojis never fail to add a fun element in any chat. But if only one could send them from the keyboard, right? Well, Gboard has you covered in that aspect. You can search for the right emoji or GIF, instead of scrolling through the pages. Just like the GIF search in FB Messenger, all you need to do is type in the keyword and the list would be displayed almost instantly. 8. Add shortcuts for frequently used words. Do you want your keyboard to be smart as you are? Well, you can teach it to remember the shortcuts for the frequently used words through the personal dictionary feature. For example, type in ph and the suggestion for phone number would pop up right there. Inserting a word, head over to settings, then dictionary, then select personal dictionary. Now press plus button on the top and add your content. 
9. Language Switch Key You can change your keyboard language without changing your phone's language. To move through all the languages you've added, tap the globe button. To pick a specific language you've added, touch and hold the globe. Tap the language you want. 10. Number Pad While typing out numbers, if the conventional numeric pad seems a tad smaller for you, you can always expand it using this amazing shortcut. Tap on the special character key, and then, 1, 2, 3, f key. There you have it, the numeric keypad expanded. Now you can type numbers quickly and clearly. Eleven. Dedicated Number Row Dedicated Number Row is the one of the most welcomed update of Gboard. This option had a persistent number row on the top. Earlier, when I have to type numbers in my sentence I have to switch between the symbols and letters. But, with this feature you can see a dedicated number row at the top of the keypad. But, you have to activate this feature from settings. To do that, tap on Google icon and Gboard settings. Tap on Preference and Enable Number Row. Twelve fractions. This terrific feature of Gboard lets you type in fractions with just a single finger tap. Long tap on any of the numeric keys and it will bring up amazing options for fractions. Thirteen one-handed mode. For phones with bigger displays, sometimes it gets difficult to reach the other end of the keyboard if you are typing with only one hand. The one-handed mode of the Gboard can come to the rescue in such situations. It makes the keyboard shrink to one side, and this makes for a smoother experience of typing with one hand. To enable this mode, tap on the G icon choose the one-handed mode. What's great about this feature is that there is no fixed size, you can easily resize the keyboard to the right size as per your choice. Tap on the arrow icon to change the side of the keyboard. 14. Instant Search A Google search right there on the keyboard, do I need anything more? With the search feature available at the tip of the finger, searching and sharing can never be this swift. Hit the search icon and type in the name and hit share. 15. Cool themes and customization. You can select from the wide range of themes available. The themes are divided into two categories, colors and landscapes. To do that, tap on Google icon and Gboard settings. Tap on theme and select the color or landscapes as new theme. 